Welcome back. Just to recap on the last lesson, every key signature belongs to two keys, a major key and a minor key, which are said to be relative to each other. To find the relative minor of any given major scale, just count down three or count up six from the keynote of the major scale to find the keynote of the minor scale and then build the scale from there. Then to create the harmonic minor scale, simply sharpen the seventh note of each octave. Or to create the rising melodic minor scale, sharpen the sixth as well as the seventh notes of each octave. But remember that on the way down, you must cancel any of those accidentals affecting the sixth and seventh degrees of the scale. And in the last lesson, we did it to the key of C major to create A minor. So let's now have a look at those scales with sharps in their key signatures. Let's remember the sentence, Father Charles goes down and ends battle, so we start with just F sharp, which, if we follow the rules we learned two lessons back, gives us the key of G major. So we have the scale of G major, and let's count down three from G, G F sharp E, or up six from G, G A B C D E, to find that the relative minor of G major is E minor. So here is the natural minor scale of E minor, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E. If we sharpen the seventh note, D sharp, we have E harmonic minor. And to create E melodic minor, we sharpen the sixth note, C sharp, as well on the way up. But we remember to cancel those accidentals, the C sharps and the D sharps, when we go on our way down. How about two sharps? We start with just F sharp and C sharp, which gives us the key of D major. So we have the scale of D major, and let's count down three from D, D C sharp B or up six from D, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, and we find that the relative minor of D major is B minor. So here is the natural minor scale of B minor. B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B. Sharpen the seventh note, A sharp, and we have B harmonic minor. And to create the melodic minor, we sharpen the sixth note, G sharp, as well, on the way up. But we remember to cancel those accidentals on the way down. And the same for three sharps. We start with just F, C and G sharps, Father Charles goes which gives us the key and scale of A major. And let's count down three from A, A, G sharp, F sharp, or up six from A, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, to find that the relative minor of A, of a major is F sharp minor. So here is the natural minor scale of F sharp minor. F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp. And to create the harmonic minor, we sharpen the seventh note. E becomes E sharp. Yes, that's the white key, E sharp. And to create F sharp melodic minor, we sharpen the sixth note, D, as well. So D becomes D sharp on the way up. But on the way down, we remember to cancel any of those accidentals on the sixth and seventh notes.
Now, four sharps. We start with Father Charles goes down. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp. Going up from D sharp one semitone, it gives us the key of E major. So here's the scale of E major. And let's count down three from E to C sharp, or up six from E to C sharp. And the relative minor, therefore, is C sharp minor. Here is the natural minor scale of C sharp minor. We sharpen the seventh note, B, to B sharp. That's another one of those white sharps. And that creates C sharp harmonic minor. And to create C sharp melodic minor, we also sharpen that sixth note, A, to A sharp on the way up. And then we cancel those raised sixths and sevenths on the way down. I could let you just get on with this, but the next scale in this pattern might throw you off course. So let's have a look at the scales with five sharps. Father Charles goes down and A sharp rises to B, giving us the scale of B major. And counting down three or up six gives us the relative minor of B major, which is G sharp minor. And here is the natural minor scale of G sharp. But when we come to sharpening the seventh note to create G sharp harmonic minor, we discover that it is already F sharp. So we need to sharpen it to F double sharp. And the scale of G-sharp melodic minor sharpens the sixth note also, E to E-sharp, on the way up. But on the way down, one must restore the key signature. So F double sharp returns to F-sharp, and E-sharp becomes E natural. It is enough just to put a sharp sign before the F to change it from F double sharp to F-sharp. But some composers, when cancelling a double sharp to make it a single sharp, will combine symbols such as the natural sharp. The natural sharp notation shown here is not on the syllabus, but you ought to be aware of its existence. OK. Six sharps, Father Charles goes down and ends. E sharp rises by a semitone to F sharp to give us the scale of F sharp major. And counting up six or down three, we get the relative minor as D sharp minor. And here is the natural minor scale of D sharp minor. To make it into D sharp harmonic minor, we must sharpen the seventh note, which is already C sharp, into C double sharp. And to create D sharp melodic minor, we must also sharpen the sixth note B to B sharp. And on the way down, we must remember to cancel any accidentals on those sixth and seventh notes. And again, it's quite important to consider using the natural sharp notation when cancelling a double sharp back to its sharp, but it is not on the syllabus. And this is as far as the syllabus goes for grade five music theory. So if you want to stop here, that's fine. But there is one more scale with seven sharps. And here it is. C sharp major and its relative a sharp minor, and here is its natural minor scale. To create the harmonic minor scale of A sharp, we sharpen the seventh note, already G sharp, to G double sharp. 
And to create the melodic minor scale of A sharp, we also sharpen the sixth note, which is already F sharp, so it becomes F double sharp. So we have two double sharps in this melodic minor scale. And on the way down, we have to remember to cancel them out. OK, so those are the actual scales. But now we need a quick way of recognising those sharp key signatures and working out what keys they represent. Here are all the sharp key signatures with the major represented by an open note head and the minor by a filled in note head. You'll remember that you need only look at the last sharp in the key signature and go up a single semitone to find the major key to which the key signature belongs. Well, all you need to do is look at the final sharp and go down a tone to find the keynote of the minor scale. So one sharp is F sharp, up to G for G major or down to E for E minor. And this works for every single sharp key signature. Let's try four sharps. Father Charles goes down, D sharp, up a semitone to E major, or D sharp, down a tone to C sharp, C sharp minor. Let's try six sharps. Father Charles goes down and ends. E sharp, up a semitone to F sharp, F sharp major, or E sharp, down a tone to D sharp, D sharp minor. Learn this simple process and it will save you a lot of trouble, not just in your grade five theory exam, but also in your future life as a musician. And is there a reverse process? Well, of course there is. Choose the key of your next sad symphony in a minor key and find the sharp name of the note a tone higher. And that sharp will be the last sharp of your key signature. So let's try it. Let's try writing a piece of music in G sharp minor. The note a tone above G sharp is A sharp. Not B flat. You never mix sharps and flats when it comes to key signature. So G sharp, G sharp minor, the tone above is A sharp and you write the sharps according to the Father Charles sentence, stopping on and for A. Father Charles goes down and five sharps. A word of caution though, let's try this with another note, with C. The note above C, a tone higher than C, is D natural, which could be called C double sharp, but a double sharp is not the same thing as a sharp. There is no sharp name for D natural. So that might tell you that C minor cannot have sharps in its key signature. It will have flats instead. And we'll look at flat key signatures in the next lesson. See you there.